Dom Punch, beaten by Bernie Ford, and Bernie racing clear now. It's high, and it's over the bar. Another point there, and a delightful point by Bernie Ford, who has contributed so much to this game today. The score, Galway 2-11, Limerick 2-7. One goal and three points of the total for Galway, contributed to by Bernie Ford. From the puck out, it's Nemo Donahue. Nemo Donahue up the field. And Joe McKenna tries to scoop it out to the wing. But Nye McInerney is there. And Nye, with all the coolness in the world, getting the ball downfield. And here comes... Is it going to be a shot? There's no lane. Yes, he takes a shot. He sends it high, but he sends it wide. No was spun around there, and it looked as if he would get a score. He didn't. The score remains 2-11 to 2-7. Four points between them. Tommy Quay. Brian Carroll. Connor Hayes. Being chased now by Eamon Cregan. Following up to try to get the ball up into his hand. Winnie Fitzmaurice, very near the sideline. Captain Clay, Ollie O'Connor. Ollie grounded and there's a free. A free for Limerick on the 20-metre line and about 10 metres in from the far sideline. Eamon Freedom to take it. And he lobs it across to an unsuspecting Dave Punch and making up his mind what he's going to do with the ball. Steve Mann getting it up free. Nemo O'Donoghue. Joe McKenna. And Joe is shot and the point. Narrowing the gap once again to three points between them. Galway 2-11, Limerick 2-8. it over. Galway 2-12, Limerick 2-8. And this is another one of these games where one team goes down and gets a score and immediately after the other comes back and does likewise. And here's John Connolly. He's come out to the centre of the field in the closing stages. Leonard Enright. Noel Lane. Pat Herbert. John Connolly under this one. Doesn't quite get to it. Breaks out to this side. Steve Mahan up now. Towards Bernie Ford. Bernie blocked this time, but he's going to have a second goal. And he's taken full advantage of it. Bernie Ford, unlucky 13 for Limerick. 2-13 for Galway, 2-8 for Limerick. And we make it about 23 minutes gone in the second half. And the referee awarding a free to Galway for holding there. Limerick holding foul. And this one just outside the 45 metre line. John Silk getting ready now. A lovely lobbing, dropping ball, and it's saved in the goal mud by Tommy Quay. He gets it out this side to Limo Donahue. Lime, Limo Donahue trying to get it upfield, doesn't hit it as hard as he would have liked. Ball comes back here on this side and sent upfield by Jimmy Cooney, very near the sideline. Limo Donahue. And the referee awarding a free and having a word with uh, Joe Connolly for. A tackle there on Limo Donahue. And Liam looks pretty shaken. Joe McKenna waiting to see what's going to happen from this free. I'm sure he's worried as to how Liam is, but he'd like to see how this ball is coming through. And Limo Donahue goes up and takes his position. Dom Punch. And the ball held there by a Galway hand is 
it's Jimmy Cooney with it, and Jimmy, <laughs> what a great kick. And it would have been a nice double. Oh, there is a foul. There is a foul by Joe Connolly, and Nemo Donahue is down injured, and Eamon Grimes is coming on the field for the Limerick man. The Limerick man, a hero of many battles. I wouldn't say he's coming on for Eamon O'Donoghue, but he's just racing towards us now, coming right over to the referee. And Eamon just handing his little bit of paper to the referee, and we'll see who's going off. Eamon, who's turned many a game around, and it looks... Well, the game is... Well, Willie Fitzmaurice is going off, and it's Eamon O'Donoghue, who a moment ago was down, apparently stretched, is the man coming away with the ball briefly. The tension here is terrific. Frank Burke. And Leonard Enright not quite holding that one. It goes off the edge of his stick. Michael Connolly and Leonard Enright. Jimmy Carroll gone back. 2.13 to 2.8 in favour of Galway. And the hand, the hand pass over this side now to Dave Punch. Dave Punch quickly up along the wing. Jimmy Cooney, Jimmy Carroll. A lovely dropping ball into the goal mouth, and it's Eamon Cregan. The referee has blown his whistle, it's a penalty, it's a penalty. The referee walked up and he's pointed for a penalty. There are those who would argue that Eamon Cregan was inside the square, and uh, but the referee was pointing for that penalty when he went running up. And the penalty means three men in the goal. Eamon Cregan to take the shot. At the moment, five points between them. I'm sure he's going to try for a goal. The stone walls of the Cladder are in there in the goal mouth. And standing over the ball, Eamon Cregan, Limerick's chief scorer. He stands back to get a bit of power into the drive. Here it comes. It's a goal! It's a goal! that went through those three strong Galway men. There's the puck, the crash and the goal. It really shook the back of the net, quite literally. And the score is now 2-13 for Galway, 3-8 for Limerick. And that means there are just two points between them. And gone off the field for Galway. I can see running off there was Joe Connolly. We will follow the play. From the puck out, Sean Foley belting the ball down got now by Steve Mahan. Steve Mahan gets it out to Frank Burke. Burke a shot. Tom Quaid has it. He's been chased out here. He's outside his protective area now. He has pushed TJ Malloy in the back and Pinbar Gantling has come on in full forward position in uh, for uh, Michael Connolly. Yes, Finbar Gantley has come on, but there was a free there. You saw the push in the back. A free to go right to be taken by Joe Connolly. Joe Connolly standing over the ball. If he gets this one, there'll be three points between them. A goal between them. He does. It's over and there are three points between them. The score now. Galway, 2-14, Limerick, 3-8. And for some reason, Iggy Clark has walked round behind the Limerick goal to give some assistance, verbal assistance, to his forwards. From the puck out, the clash of the ash, it's traditional and it's here. John Connolly pushed off the ball this time. Brian Carroll, back it goes to Don Punch. Punch across into the centre. Punch to punch, up now to Grimes. Eamon trying to get it there, but Jimmy Cooney's there. Ryan Carroll is there. Eamon Cregan is there. They're all there. And it's Jimmy Carroll with it now. Into the goal mouth. And it's Michael Tanini. Michael Tanini playing the game of his life. But the referee has gone up and had a word with Joe McKenna for a foul off the ball on Niall McInerney. And if another foul like that comes from Joe McKenna or indeed from anybody who went into the book, they go to the sideline. The score, 20 points to 7. Galway at the 17, 3 points between them and 6 minutes left in the game.